by the way, the Kanai did bachelor's, master's, PhD from RBI. Yes. So he is, so he is one. Uh, I taught him courses way back when dinosaurs roamed there. Right. And also, you were my uh, thesis committee. Yeah, yeah, he was in his thesis right. committee. I was in his thesis student. Eric also graduated from bachelor's and master's from RBI. Maybe he's before the dinosaurs. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm all the time, so uh, I used the uh, punch card from a uh, never seen it. Uh, we had to use like a uh, Michigan terminal system. We had to go to the uh, basically computer center using a teletypewriter to do this, like, uh, starting from that level. So. And the PC came and things changed. So. Uh, good afternoon, my name is Junich Kanai. Uh, I'm associate director of the design lab. And as the Professor Murphy said, uh, I'm a class of 83 electrical engineering, master's of engineering, 85 PhD, or uh, 90 both uh, computer and systems engineering. So uh, I don't have a computer science degree, but uh, many of the courses uh, I took from uh, computer science department. And after graduation, uh, I, I became a, a research professor at the Information Science Research Institute it's, uh, at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. So I lived in Las Vegas for seven years. But uh, I've never learned to play basketball. I've never learned to do like, a gambling. So, so that's uh, kind of you know, my life. Then after that, uh, I was a uh, research scientist and also a uh, manager for a uh, US-based Panasonic uh, development group in New Jersey. And around approximately seven years ago, I came back to RPI. And now I'm teaching primarily capstone design and senior design courses. And this, you know, uh, design lab, uh, this is uh, educational lab, not a research laboratory. And uh, it's soft money, basically, uh, we receive educational grants from uh, our industry sponsors. That's how we all uh, operate and provide our uh, learning experience to our students. So, so today I'd like to quickly introduce uh, the design lab and how we manage our uh, capstone design course. And uh, uh, how we, you know, like, uh, basically we learn a you know, uh, good way of managing or software centric projects. So I just you know, uh, share uh, what we do and you know, I'm happy to answer any questions later. So, so it's part of you know, our School of Engineering and uh, uh, we basically uh, coordinate and manage our senior design projects. We work with our industry sponsors and we ask for real world design programs. Some are you know, purely or software, others are like mixed, or sometimes you know, some are that do not involve any software. And uh, uh, since you know, uh, a semester is 15 weeks, of 15 weeks long, so if a sponsor said, hey, you know, we need a piece of code, do it in two weeks, it doesn't work. So we always ask them, you know, important, but not mission critical so that in a 15 weeks student have time. And uh, we create a multidisciplinary teams. Sometimes we create only the uh, students uh, from uh, computer systems and computer CCA to dual major, but try to create a multidisciplinary teams. <coughs> we also you know, work with uh, IED. This is a sophomore level engineering course also. So, so last year we celebrated like the 10th anniversary. So uh, we typically support 400 students from these majors. So 200 students per semester. So think this way that you know uh, this lab is kind of like a consulting firm. But every semester 200 people leave and a new 200 people come. So 100% of the time. <laughs> so it's really difficult for us to you know make a strong team. Also. Oh, uh, okay, so, and uh, the sponsors ask, you know, variety of uh, problems. Some are kind of, you know, uh, from advanced research to, you know, uh, basically develop proof of concept. So, 
there are ideas that can be used in the technology transfer phase. Some are like a software product development, other the business process improvement, IT type. So this kind of you know, variety of things our students uh, face. These are uh, some of our sponsors, or uh, IBM, Lockheed Martin, SAIT, they are, uh, typically give us a uh, software-oriented project. Boeing or uh, other companies is kind of mechatronics type, so both in a mechanical engineering software, engineering, and so on. And our uh, environment, uh, we have a uh, meeting space and also fabrication space. We use uh, software, uh, open source software to create an uh, educational environment <coughs> because uh, we share our, uh, uh, you know, our practice and also the best practice with other universities. If we, use, if we use open source, it's easy for other universities to duplicate and you know, improve their uh, uh, education program. So. Currently, we are using a uh, red mine. Are you familiar with red mine? Red mine is one of the like, bug tracking systems, okay. and that has like, a weak capability or uh, forum uh, to track bugs. We can create like, tickets and assign <coughs> tasks to individuals, and we are using this feature for like uh, new features like requirement management and other like task management. So we, what we have is, uh, we usually use the GitHub, GitHub okay. where we the issue tracks, uh, tickets right. and bug fixes and so on. Yeah, especially for a project which gets shared by a number of people. Right, right. And uh, uh, we use like a server version as uh, so like a source code or like a document repository. And this, you know, randomized uh, support, you know, a variety of, of, of plugins. And in the fourth semester, we are trying to experiment with uh, one of the plugins that uh, convert Wikipedia into PDF. We are hoping students will, uh, will be more productive creating like, a documentation by this approach. We have a variety of resources and also like, books for students to use. So uh, we, we plan to use uh, like, a library function to you know, uh, manage our resources. And uh, not necessarily this semester, but eventually we'd like, we'd like to try like a code review capability so that students can do a really you know, good job. Also, uh, students need to communicate with like, sponsors. Some sponsors are like West Coast, some are me, and so on. So we also offer uh, like a tele teleconference capability, and if uh, uh, they want to share desktop, uh, RPI has Adobe Connect, so we can use it. But typically, we ask our sponsor to provide like, a desktop capability okay, because uh, we found that many uh, companies have like, a fire for issues, so it's easier for them to request their desktop share rather than ours. They don't have to deal with IT open in you know, like, a particular port. But we have a capability. So. Now, typically, our uh, sponsor uh, give us like, a uh, project that is like a two semester or more. Sometimes in like multiple years, like uh, this is a uh, you know, picture for uh, kind of like, quality assurance and uh, using like pseudo color coding. These are bad, like, uh, bad spots. And this case, you know, first semester was. Uh, Student or even sponsor didn't know how to solve this problem. The first one was more like a, a research and develop how you know, this can be detected. Then this was like a complex problem, and the student need to create test bed. This is similar to like you know, creating sometimes creating test data for your program is more time consuming than writing a code, especially like a large scale database project. If you have experience, you know like uh, creating appropriate side of test of data is more time consuming. So similar case, in this case test of data, very theoretical and technical feasibility <coughs> demonstration. And finally they created the full your uh, full system, end-to-end -end system, and took sponsored factory factory for or field or test. So 
From here, this is more like a data analysis, data visualization type. And uh, this is the more like a uh, full integration. So software engineering, engineering students, they did better. Uh, they were active here, not so much. So. And as uh, I said, you know, uh, students take only a semester of this course, but projects are typically multiple all semester. So we really emphasize good documentation, the like software course must be uh, carefully commented, and the revision control and the configuration management, these are really important. <coughs> now, from a sponsored point of view, uh, basically, you know, uh, RPI offer two iterations of the data, like four semesters, spring semester. But typically students face this kind of you know, uh, flow for most of the projects. This is, you know, uh, you can see that it's more of like a waterfall type approach rather than agile approach. And uh, there were some issues uh, we found. So now, uh, we try to uh, let students create a fast, just you know, do analysis during the first half of the semester. Uh, the eighth week, we are pushing students to do you know, a full integration. Even like a small subsystem, they need to do full integration because uh, if they wait until the last week of the semester, they often have you know, integration issues. <coughs> so, uh, they may not complete you know, uh, full integration uh, by the end of the eighth week, but by forcing them. Once they finish it, they can uh, successfully complete uh, second and third iterations. So that's something we learn. 